Good morning, everyone. My name is Erin Colton. I work at News 12 Long Island as the morning news anchor. Um, and I am here today on this Monday to help out with your morning announcements. You actually can see me somewhere else. If you go to your TV and turn on Channel 12, I'm there right now, working as an essential worker, bringing you all the news that Long Island needs to know about during this pandemic. Um, but I'm really proud and excited to be able to bring you your morning announcements today on this Monday, April 13th. Okay, first task of the day always, let's rise and say the pledge. Oh, if you don't have a flag, I dressed as one, so you can just look here. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, it is Monday, it's April 13th. The temperature today, it's not gonna be a good day. The temperature is mild, it's in the 60s in Wontaw, but um, we are in the middle of a nor'easter. So we're gonna get a lot of wind, a lot of rain, and it's definitely an inside day. Um, you may even lose your power or, or for a quick second or so, just because of the winds. Um, but Stay tuned to News 12 Long Island for your latest weather forecast. We'll let you know what's going on. Um, but definitely an inside day. So if you wanna get your activities uh, inside today, you definitely want to stay inside. Something I like to do when I have an inside day is I love doing yoga, so I'll go to YouTube and I'll search some yoga classes that I like and then I put it on my TV screen and I can sit in front of the TV and do that. If you don't like yoga or if you wanna do any other exercise, I'm sure YouTube has all you need for your exercise for the day, but definitely wanna make sure you do some fun things inside. I also like to do puzzles during a rainy day, so you can do that as well. I'm sure everyone's done like a million puzzles because everyone's been inside, but those are just some of the things I like to do. Um, okay, attention students, keep sending us your pictures of the fun things that you are doing at home. We love seeing them, including your schoolwork, always, right? Top priority. We love to stay connected through our social media pages so you can direct message them to uh, any of our socials or you can email them to any staff member. You can also tag Wanta Middle School on any of your posts. Okay, let's talk about birthdays. We always have to make sure our birthdays are more special than ever this year because um, they're different during this time. Of course, we can't do the things and have the parties that we would have like any other year because of the pandemic. So we wanna make sure we recognize the birthdays and we do something special to them. So if you know anyone who has birthdays, make sure you give them um, a special hey, a special hello, a special text. So Sunday, uh, yesterday, uh, we have Courtney Pavic. Isabella Toreski and Alexa Dowden. So happy birthday to you guys. I hope you had a really good birthday yesterday. And then today uh, we have Francesco and Pasquale Falco. So happy birthday to you two as well. Hope you have a good day. I'm sure your family members will make sure that it is uh, special. Happy birthday, warriors. Lastly for today, our caring warriors. And to me, this is probably the most important part of my day is making sure I think about and I recognize and I even send a hello or a call or a text to those on the front lines during this fight. We continue to recognize our community members who are on those front lines, making sure that they, will, they are all cared for and healthy as they are caring for us and keeping us healthy. The following people are relatives of Wonton Middle School employees. Actually, they're cousins to Mrs. Petulo, who are working as frontliners, putting their own health risk uh, at risk each day to keep us safe. The warriors that we would like to thank today are Jamie Mistrangelo and Brian Mistrangelo, Suffolk County Police Department, Ryan Mistrangelo, Nassau County Police Department, Caitlin Mistrangelo, nurse, Heather Salzbach, nurse, John Mistrangelo, sanitation, Jake Mistrangelo, building department civil engineer, Zach Mistrangelo, U.S. Coast Guard, and Brianna Passaretti, who is a nurse. Thank you to all of you who are doing everything you can to keep us safe. Also, people who are near and dear to my heart, frontliners in my family, uh, Nassau County Police Department Detective Lieutenant Stephen Fitzpatrick, um, and then amazing medical workers on the front lines every day, making sure they do not go to sleep at night without making sure everyone is cared for in front of them are um, Kira and Brittany Fitzpatrick. So thanks to them too. Um, I am, of course, an alumni of Wanta. I went to Wanta Elementary School, Wanta Middle School, Wanta High School. I'm also a coach at Wanta High School. In fact, I have my team right here. 
Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> my team, the Wonton Warriors varsity girls basketball team. So miss you guys. Um, and so, yeah, so I know all about being a warrior and being from Wanta and loving the community that I live in. We all have to remember that we are all in this together. We will get through this together. Also, a warrior always comes out of every battle stronger. So remember that, warrior strong. That's a wrap for today. Your teachers miss you and they cannot wait to see you again. Uh, thanks and again, be a great warrior today. Be safe.